Welcome back to the wonderful world of Aluna. I need to grab some goodies here. Yeah. And I should probably get my bones too. I was uh, attacked and killed, needless to say, by, uh, I don't even know what it was. All I know is I died four or five times, and every time I went back and before I could get to the safety of this building, or the building back over here, I was killed. So yeah, that was, that was loads of fun. And now that we're done having loads of fun, let's get back to building... Whoa, 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 can't sew. That was totally the wrong button. I wanted craft. Let's get back to building this wonderful, wonderful habitation. Where people shall flock from the countryside to live. Okay, so I was talking about making them light things. So I need to... Oh, I need more torches then. So it was two torches. However, not to worry. Uh, I have a second torch now. Yay! Wooden light box. Alright, and then I need to make some more fences. Which I don't remember. Were fences... Was it wood on the outside or on the inside? Um, I don't know. And those are not pine saplings. Those should be in the the chest for wood things. There we go. That's more like it. All right, so let's try this. That's a gate. All right, we don't want a gate. We want a fence. Pine wood fences. I guess that's what we're gonna use for the light posts. Oh, but I don't have enough to make a full set. All right, well, let's go back to the pine chest here. I know I have more pine wood sitting around, so we'll just have to turn a few stacks. There we go. Beautiful. And let's do two more sets, which should give us a total of 12. I'm doing math right. And of course I am. I mean, what kind of a YouTuber would I be if I didn't even know basic math? Alright, so. We's gonna... Um... How am I gonna reach the top of this to put the light up there? Oh, just like that, I guess. I mean... Eh. I... Think that works I won't really know for sure till it's nighttime honestly but I'm gonna go ahead and take all these torches so I'm gonna need them to make the lights oh. and I don't think these saplings are gonna turn into trees that's just my two cents okay so I have enough here I didn't know you could make super glow glass in one step. Not that I am interested in making super glow glass at the moment. All right. Um, let's go ahead and replace that in here. No. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just put stuck one up right away. I was thinking maybe I should do like an archway or something where I could put, I don't know, a sign where they would put. That was weird. I jumped and landed on something for a second. I thought the game was going to crash. Clearly the game had other ideas though. All right. Do I have any torches left? I have three torches. Let's go ahead and put a torch right there and a torch right there. The lighting will change later on for that when I figure out what I'm doing for the roof and everything. But for the time being, that works. All right, so we're going to assume some kind of fountain thing in the middle here. And I'm just going to block out a 4x4 four four area for that. 
And, I don't know, we'll build it out of something. And I'll put the corners here. Just so I know that that's going to be a fountain. Um, so that's going to... Hmm. Yeah, the whole slab idea might be coming to bite me in the butt right now. Because if I have a fountain here and I want to use, like, stairs or something for it... I don't know. I'm not working on the fountain now, so let's not worry about it. What we do need to worry about... Not really so much worry about, but... We do need a pathway... To the... Uh... The lighthouse keeper's hut's house thing. I really need to figure out what the proper name is for this. Alright, and I think they're going to have a, a torch on the front. And yeah, I'll take that back. Because light spills through from the window and all over the place. So, that's actually not something I have to worry about. Okay, now should their entry come around this side? Nah, I think it'll go this way. So let's have a small path. And then it'll go to a two-eyed path. Which will end up linking up to other paths. Going to other abodes. Because um, I'm planning on having some other properties or something here. So, we'll have... Like, the main road will be at least two nodes wide. And this isn't really a super main road, but it's going to this person's house and then they have a footpath to their house off of that. And it kind of just dead ends because there's nothing else. So maybe... Maybe we'll make it stick off one node further that way for really no reason other than because why not. All right, and then wrapping around... This way, the path should connect up to this at some point, somehow, somewhere. So let's go ahead and put in a bunch of slabs. And I think, because this is lower, I should probably drop this down to the full nodes and not the slab variation. So let's actually pull these out. La 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 la. All right, and then drop those in. Yeah, because when this reconnects, and you know what? Let's actually make this whole area kind of a little bit wider till there because honestly if this is going to be like uh, a market little thing they're probably going to want a lot of a lot of space for people to come up to it so because I don't know yet what the plans are. This actually could turn into like a little uh, a little restaurant kind of thing. We could put tables and chairs in there and then I could build a little building off on the back side here where the kitchen would be. That might actually be a better idea. Sailors coming back to shore after you know long period at sea. They're they're gonna want some good home style cooking. So maybe we'll turn this into a little open air diner or something or maybe even do like half and half it could be like food on one half and then stuff for sale on the other half because even though their their big thing is really seafarers and traffic coming through that way uh you gotta imagine it's not that huge an area so i don't think a a business that solely relies on restaurant and food service stuff, I don't think they would stay afloat too well because there's just not enough people here to be
be going out to eat at this restaurant. So if they're half and half, that'll probably work. They could like sell groceries and also food ready to eat. That would make sense. Okay, travel net should probably be moved, but uh, I don't really know where to yet. It also does not really fit with a medieval feel at all, but that's all right. Okay, I like the path. It's pretty good. Um, let's see how these lights are working. Let's pull that out of my wheeled hand. Those lights work pretty well. The docks will have some lighting on them. And that just gives nice light coming up. Light spills out of those windows. That lighting all works pretty well. Uh, honestly, the torches up here don't need to be here. Because there's lava right there lighting everything. And a little bit of light spills out of the tower there as well. So I think I can afford to... Put torches on the sides of this. Because why not? And I'll just throw one right there. For the time being. Um, I think we will work on building a fountain. In the next episode. Because it's kind of a big focal point. It's the first thing everybody sees when they come in. Well... It's not really the first thing, but it's one of the first things you'll see as you walk up the street. So it needs to be right. Which means I need to do a lot of figuring. And do a lot of special nodes and special builds. This needs to be the pinnacle of my creations. And what that means is this is just get torn down at some point in the future and rebuilt and it'll be built better. But for the time being that's not an option so it needs to be done it needs to be done right and i'm the one to do it which means it'll be done wrong but oh well so is life anyways hearty thank you to everybody who watches and subscribes i appreciate it uh be sure to tune in next week same time obviously the same channel for another filming episode when we will be building the water fountain thing. So yeah, that should be loads of fun.